Hello Angular developers, today on Angular Insights, we are tackling a common yet crucial topic, how to check if a checkbox is checked in Angular 17. This fundamental skill is key in form handling and user interaction. So let's jump right in. Checkboxes are staple in user interfaces, allowing users to make binary choices. In Angular, managing checkboxes involves understanding model binding and event handling. So let's start with the basics. We will set up our checkbox in HTML template. So for that go to the .html file of your component and simply add that checkbox. So here we have added a checkbox input. The change event is crucial. It triggers every time the checkbox state is changed. So now let's handle the checkbox change event in our TypeScript component. Let's do that. Here I will define that function on change on checkbox and here I will use event dot target dot checked if that is true then we will simply console it that it is checked and in the else we will simply say that checkbox is not checked so in this method on checkbox change we check the event dot target dot checked property this property is true if checkbox is checked and false if not it's a simple yet effective way to track the checkbox state so let's quickly uh, test it open your browser and inspect element let's click on that to see the logs you can see i have checked it and console is saying that check box is checked okay so for more advanced approach let's use ng model for two-way data binding by binding ng model to a component property we can directly track the checkboxes state so in order to use ng model make sure you first import the forms module i already have imported it if you did not import it yet then make sure to import it in this way i have imported it in my standalone component but if you are not using standalone component you can simply import in your relevant module now now here I will simply add ng model and give it a property checkbox state. I will define this property. Now we don't need this function. I can simply define it and set the default value to false. And now we don't need this function anymore. And we can display the value of this checkbox like this okay right now you can see the value is saying it is false if you click on that the value will change from false to true and so on so it is happening in real time so this is called the two-way binding with ng model which is particularly useful in the forms where you need to track and respond to user input in real time practically this technique is used in forms settings toggles and anywhere you need user consent or choices it all about enhancing user experience while ensuring data integrity in your angular application all right that's that's all for checking checkboxes in angular 17 with these method you can effectively manage checkbox state in your project experiment with different scenarios and always consider user experience don't forget to like share and subscribe for more angular tutorials happy coding and see you in the next one